Okay, now we're ready to learn a trick, and this is where I was able to edit my pictures with a background um, or with any little bit of special effects. We have her skirt. Let's say we want to keep her, you know, with the fuku and the nothing's changing. We're just changing colors. All right, so let's say I want to give her a rainbow colored um, body setup. So I like to choose the lime green because that's a hardly used color in any picture you might want to use. All right, leave all the colors where else. Unless you're using it for an area, um, then I'd recommend using another color. But anyway. Uh, so we have her, her fuku highlighted, we want to make that a rainbow. So you go ahead, you have a color, you do this again with the cut tool, copy, go to any picture you want to use for its effect. All right. and we're going to use this. Again, this is where that chroma key trick comes in. Make sure you're on see-through, the box right here, and you want to right click, right click over the color that's in your background, in this case it's the green. So we're just going to right click, your background color is green, either right click or go to edit and paste, and there you go. You see how it's see through? But if I keep it solid, it's going to stay green, nothing happens. So see through, say we're happy with, with that, uh, click anywhere on the picture, come back in again, and make sure when you send it over you give yourself plenty of room to do this with. Okay, and again copy go back to your edit this is where it's good to zoom in go to edit paste and you might think you want to use white but in the case you had all your colors already done and you were doing this last um, go to the see through button again and actually go to black you see how you can match up the pixels from what you just used here into the green and that's why I like using the black and then you don't have to double check yourself if you made it in or, or not Alright, zoom out, and there you go. Now she has a rainbow colored outfit. And this is the exact same way you do it for a background of a picture. And just for an example really fast. Alright, make sure your background again is a color you're not using in the picture. We're going to use purple for an example. Alright, and I'm just going to take part of her. Same thing as before, just right click on the color that you're using as your background, make sure it's see-through, paste, and there you go. It's really that simple, and again, you can use this trick with anything. So I hope that answered your question, I hope that helped you out. Again, if you have any questions, please send me a message and I will be happy uh, to explain anything to you. Thank you again, I appreciate your patience, and I hope it was worth the wait.